Attention, Avalanche Scum! We know all about your evil plans to destroy the Pillar. But the Turks, uh, but Shinra, that's us, won't let you get away with it. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. That ought to do it, right? That was a close one. How is it? Much better, thanks. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. Aerith, there's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? <sighs> Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. Come on! Seventh Heaven is this way! Wedge! Wait! This episode is not going to leave me a lot of time to say anything. A lot of cinematics going on in this one. Come on! Come on! Sir, uh, you need to step away from the gate! You have to open the gate! If you don't let these people through! Back off! It's not gonna happen! Uh, uh, Wedge! I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. <sighs> That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I want to believe that we can still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me or do for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here. Right now. I need to know I did everything I could. Uh. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. <sighs> Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all going to die. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right. You can't miss it. <clears throat> Don't worry about me. All right. I'll get these people to safety. After separating from Aerith at the bottom of the pillar in the original game, you're not left with much of an impression what happens to her. You see the result, but you don't see what actually happens to her. You all have to get out of Sector 7. Now, please. Hmm? Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? Well, there's still time, but... They're going to drop the plate on us? <sighs> yes. Those sons of bitches! What good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. Hop to it. Ah, 
avalanche, I take it? <sighs> Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Hmm. I've got to get to Seventh Heaven. What are you doing here? That's it! Oh god! Look out! Oh no! Seems a little fruitless to try to put this fire out, considering that they're trying to drop the pillar. Everybody should be trying to get the hell out of there. Especially since, given the benefit of hindsight, we all know that that pillar is going to collapse and just completely destroy everything anyway. Finally! <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, you poor thing. I know it must hurt, but you've got to be brave now, okay? Come on, keep moving this way. Hey, hey, over here. Come on. I'll take you to her. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aerith did a lot of stuff here. In the original game, she just sort of disappears, and then you hear later on that she was captured when she went to rescue Marlene from Seventh Heaven Bar. And in this, she separates from the group Friggin' Wedge goes and makes some impassioned speech that allows a bunch of people to escape, and then um, Aerith goes and rescues this kid, whoever this is, and uh, she does a lot here. This way! Quickly now! Keep moving! Can you take care of her? Of course. Betty! I've been looking everywhere for you! Daddy! Oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> These scenes do force you into a little bit of a reevaluation of Tifa's character because in the original game she wasn't much of a hero. She was sort of like linked by a certain destiny to the events, but not much of a hero herself. Confirmed. One more bird lost. Probably for the best. After all. Change of plans. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. Aerith originally came across as more of just sort of a victim of the circumstances of the game. Now she was the ancient, so she's the one that could talk to the planet, could potentially. And not, she doesn't really stop Sephiroth, but she was the one that he thought could. So that's why she was killed. But uh, she wasn't much of a hero in any way in that game. And kind of made you feel sorry for her because she got swept up into this whole thing and it got her killed and everything. But in this, she comes across much more like an active participant rather than just the girl in the corner, you know. You're Marlene, right? Who... who are you? I'm... A friend of Tifa's. <laughs> um, where is she? Right now, she's with Cloud and the others. Daddy too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there too. 
Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh, the thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? flower <sighs> I hope you remember it come on Tell you what, we'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I could help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your... You led us on a merry chase, Aerith. Sung. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Mm. How about we make a deal? They were all my victims. 